Uh, welcome. Um, this is George Phillip uh, from EdTech uh, 505, and I will be talking today about uh, Chapter 10 and uh, you know how you can make a living, I guess, or start a business over um, you know evaluation uh, or evaluating programs. Okay, um, so as I talked to. As I just mentioned, um, this is about program evaluations, right? And whether or not you can make a living at this. Um, so what I really learned from Chapter 10 is that, um, you know, yes, obviously you could make some money or make a living of this. You could make it a full-time position uh, and do this for your entire life, or you could uh, do it to supplement um, your income some way, somehow. I don't think I could ever do that. Um, currently... Um, I work for an independent school, and we have to be, um, we get checked every seven years to, or accredited uh, every seven years to make sure that we are are doing what we do. So a part of that is we need to do um, kind of, you know, self-evals. Um, so I've been on six committees uh, for that over the last year. Um, so, you know, all of this is, isn't new to me, um, but... You know, being on a committee, you know, I'm not looking at what exactly I'm doing in my classroom. I'm looking at what I'm doing uh, for um, somebody else, some other component within the school um, that I don't have as much influence in. Um, so that's kind of been interesting to, to kind of flip this uh, around, um, which I think is making it harder for me. Um, you know, so we're kind of looking at that. Um and then we're going to, and then um, this year, so this, uh, like I guess this is a seven year process. This happens every seven years. Um, so in years, I know this isn't part of the chapter, but whatever. Um, so um, years one through four, you know, you're, you're in the clear after the evaluation takes place. Um, and then the self-eval takes place in years five and six, which we've been doing. And then um, the team comes in in year seven of the process and, and they look at it, go through it with a fine tooth comb. They spend like three days on your campus um, going through everything, writing up the reports, doing um, you know check-ins and so on and so forth. Uh, and then they give their findings to um, the Isaacs committee uh, Isaacs is the group that accredits us, and then Isaacs then in return tells us what the committee found um, and the recommendations based upon that. So it's the entire evaluation process, everything we've been learning in class, uh, as it is just, for me, it seems different um, because, you know, I'm the one who's doing the evaluating. I'm not the one who's writing the, the stuff to be evaluated, I guess, if, if that makes any sense. Uh, but anyway, so back on track here. Um, so can you make living at this? Absolutely, yes. Would I want to? Me? No. Um, all right, so what does this all mean? Um, so I think uh, if, you're in terms of, if you're gonna look in terms of this of a business, um, you have two areas. You've got the public sector, um, which is more like your government jobs, and, and then your private. Okay, and these are all the different companies and organizations and, and all those different things around um, that exist. And so within that, um, you know, you really have to, when you're in the public sector, um, you really are looking at um, kind of... Sorry, just looking over my notes here. Um, you know, you're, you're really evaluating, like I said, with the government, so you're looking at programs there. I guess all of these, um, you know, public and private, you know, all looking at different types of programs uh, or whatever else like that to do. So a big part of this um, would be um, that you have some kind of reactive resource and while you're going through this whole process and, and what that means is that you just 
identify existing programs um, that really respond to what you're you're looking for in terms of a third party because you are the third party all right so you're the one who's gonna be coming in and looking at all this information and things like that and um, you know and within this part of the reactive resource here you're going to actually be doing all your requests of everyone for everything Um, so, you know, I guess kind of, you know, like the, the big idea, um, behind this chapter, um, is really how do you, um, make money, uh, off of this? How do you make, how do you turn this into a business for yourself? Okay. Um, it does a great job of going through and giving, you know, specific details uh, and how to do this um, for instance like what you need to set up um, how you can improve services for your clients how you can um, have you know become a professional evaluator and and things of that nature um, you know for me this isn't something I really want to do um, in life other than if it's like a dire necessary thing that I need to do. So I didn't really get as much out of this chapter um, as I would of any other chapter. Um, because I'm not really looking to go into this as a business. Um, so, you know, in terms of, you know, like what did I learn or what did I take away? I took away <laughs> really that this is not what I want to do with my life. Um, you know, like, um, I am more into, I guess, research and conducting experiments and things like that within my classroom, uh, to, to do that. And a part of that, you know, there's a evaluation component to that, but I feel that going in ahead of time or going in after something happens and evaluating it, you know, you're missing a key component of that. It's just not how my brain works. So, um, you know, big ideas again behind this um, behind this chapter is you know like how you can make money behind it, what parts of the economy you could look at doing this if you want to make it full time, or if you just do it to supplement your income. Um, and it talks about how negotiating um, a fee or your your pay for these and so on and so forth. You know, and all those kind of things and how you get it all the way whittled down um, into what exactly it is uh, that you need to get it whittled down into. Um, you know, so I just really feel that I didn't take away as much as I could have from this chapter because of my preconceived notions of what evaluations are and what they should be. And so, yeah, so, uh, this is my reflection on chapter 10. So thanks for watching.